Hey guys, thank you for joining. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Brennan. I am a part-time reseller. Uh, it's Monday, June 14th. I have, I think I have 18 orders to go out. Uh, a lot of laser discs, <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll show you guys those. And a couple other just uh, random interesting things that we've got, uh, which is the beauty of reselling, right? It's random, random sells for sure. So let's take a look. Right, so I'll start with this motorcycle jacket. I've had this for a while. It, it did did not sell for nearly as much as I thought it would. Um, actually, I don't remember the brand of it now. Uh, extra letter, whatever that means. Uh, but this did sell for 25. It's a nice little motorcycle jacket. It's got the, you know, the little, uh, the padding in there. So I was glad to just get this one out of here. It actually took up a little bit more space than I was hoping. So that one's gone. Uh, we've got uh, the Smurfs card game. This was 50 cents. Uh, I just picked it up because it was Smurfs. Uh, this did sell for 12 bucks, uh, which is obviously not bad for 50 cents. Got one other chess book. Uh, the chess books have definitely slowed down quite a bit here recently, um, but still doing very well with those, of course. Uh, this book sold for 12. Got this Anova uh, Factory Second uh, Disc Golf, um, Frisbee Golf Disc, and this sold for 10. Took an offer on that one. I think I've got about three left uh, from that lot I bought a little while back. Uh, so that one, that lot did very well for me. And here we've got this really nice brother um, sewing machine. This is a SQ9185. Um, and it has had a lot of the accessories with it, as well as this little cable, I think that makes it a bit bigger. Um, so I paid, I did pay $50 for this uh, at a sale over the weekend. And it sold really quickly. Uh, I may have I may have listed it a little too low, uh, but it sold for 132, which obviously I will I will take that all day. Um, and it's not super super heavy. It, it's not like one of those old school, really honking ones that are like 50 pounds. Um, this one is probably it might be 15, maybe, maybe. I mean it's it's not uh, it's it's not too terrible. And here we've got just a huge stack of laser discs. Such a hard word to say without getting X-rated. Um, so I'm going to go through some of these, and some of these surprised me. Like this one here, this Practical Magic. I did not think much of this one when I pulled it out, uh, but it sold. It sold almost right away. It sold for 17 bucks. Uh, this was one that I thought was uh, going to be lotted up when I first looked at it, but went quickly uh, and one thing I'll mention with shipping these they're, they're very easy to ship you just need a your standard record mailer uh, works fine for them I have been asked multiple times to ship the disc outside of the sleeve and if you start selling things like this you you'll you will get that request and you're probably gonna be wondering like why would I do something like that um, but the, the reason is during shipping when the disc is inside of this sleeve there's a greater chance of it splitting the seams right and people they they don't want the seams to be split so if the disc is outside of it and kind of wrapped nicely together you um you get a, you get around that risk you don't have that risk so you will get that question and that is the reason they're asking you to do it uh zandali uh, i've never heard of this movie uh this one did sell for 12 and I don't remember, I don't remember the prices of all of these off the top of my head. Uh, some of them I do. Uh, the ones that I don't, I will go ahead and add a, I'll go ahead and put the comps up there for you. Uh, Vice Academy 3, I'm assuming this was like a play on Police Academy. Uh, Bound and Gagged, I remember this one because this sold really quickly and I was surprised by this one as well. Uh, this one sold for $33. And this is not, again, this is not one that I've ever heard of. There's a lot of the movies in here that I've never heard of before. And that, that seems to be what sells. So this one was, went for 33 Uh Phoenix the Warrior. Uh, this looks kind of like a Xena Warrior Princess type deal. Uh, this one's old for 20 I believe. Uh, Intent to Kill. I feel like, uh, yeah, I don't remember what this one's old for. This like reminds me of uh, like Bloodsport 
or kickboxer or something. And here we've got, you know, a nice wholesome, wholesome classic here with Star Wars. So this one came out of the, the lot. This is, didn't come out of the big lot. I bought a lot of 58 uh, where, where, I, where I also got the player. Um, so those I spent, uh, I spent 70 bucks, 70 on the laser discs. So a dollar 20 a piece. Um, and someone, someone that purchased another disc asked me if I had any Star Wars and I had one Star Wars in there. So I told him, showed it to him. And this one sold for eighteen fifty. Uh, Apache Uprising. Uh, I believe this one was uh, ten dollars. And then we've got some more of these crazy ones here. Uh, Hellhole. I I don't remember what that one sold for. Uh, the Witchcraft. I had two of them, so four and six. I went ahead and put these together in a lot. And I believe that lot sold for uh, thirty-five or forty. And before orange was the new black, we had Slammer Girls. Uh, get ready for big laughs in the big house. Fantastic stuff. Did not get a chance to watch this one before it sold. I think this was uh, maybe 14, something like that. Uh, Return to Horror High. This were this reminds me of um, one of like the trauma, like um, the USA Up All Night type movies. Uh, this one did sell for 20 This one's in really nice condition, too. Uh, Evil Spirits. I don't remember what this one sold for exactly. I will say that all of these are over 10 bucks. I know that for sure. 10 or more. I know that for a fact. Uh, Body Chemistry 3, I'm pretty sure, was 15 And then we've got Young Guns 1 and 2. This is not really that great, uh, but these two together, I think I took an offer of 12 for those two together. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got a ton to uh, to get packed up here and get out. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Uh, we will look at the spreadsheet again here probably sometime later on this week. I'll go back through that spreadsheet. Um, I know I've, I've not broken even yet, but we're, I think we're getting close to, I think I'm almost at 900 in sales on, on the laser discs. Still have one bin left to go through and about five more about five boxes I think so far still to uh about five boxes still to take pictures of and list so still got a lot of work to go and uh it's been a lot of fun and I think I'm going to pick up some more laser disc discs Whew, later on today I might have a problem we'll see hey guys uh it is now Wednesday uh June 16th and I have 16 more orders to go out I bet you can't guess what the majority of these are. Uh, let's take a look real quick here. Obviously, right here, we've got a huge stack. Uh, I think we have a stack of about 27 laser discs that are going to be going out. So I'll go over those here in a second. Uh, let's look at some of the non-laser disc sales. Uh, we've got this uh, Starbucks uh, Black Matte Mug. I paid a dollar for this one. I uh, took an offer of eight on that. Uh, we've got... The GameCube Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, that sold for 15 Another chess book here, uh, Bobby Fischer. I've sold a couple of these here recently. Uh, this one sold for seven. Uh, here we've got America's Funniest Home Videos, uh, Volume 1 DVD. This is new. Uh, I paid a dollar for this. This one sold for 20 And we've got this Yamaha uh, drum machine here. I paid $3 for that and took an offer of 20 on that one as well. Uh, so a couple non laser disc items and then we've got I'm just going to go through some of these here and then we'll take a look at the spreadsheet here uh, as well after I go through some of these but first up starting with I think who we all know is the best of the Stallones uh, Frank and I, I didn't even know there was a Frank Stallone to be honest with you um, but this one was pretty funny so Terror in, Be Terror in Beverly Hills just when you thought the streets were safe. It's good stuff. Uh, so this one sold for an odd price of $14.55. Very oddly specific. Uh, this is a classic one here, apparently. Uh, one Crazy Summer, John Cusack, Demi Moore, Bobcat Goldweight. I don't think I've seen this movie. Uh, this one seems to be relatively uh, well sought after. This one sold for $30. 
Big Lebowski, one of one of my all-time favorites. We actually watched this one. Uh, got to do a little product testing, right? Got to make sure these things are working. Um, this one sold almost right away as soon as I listed it. Uh, but this one sold for forty-eight. And this one here is really interesting and has me has me questioning what I'm going to do with the rest of the of the discs that I didn't find comps for initially. Um, so this one there were no there were no sold comps, no active comps. I listed it for eleven fifty, and it sold that same day for eleven fifty. Um, obviously, it looks a little interesting with James Earl Jones. It looks like a pretty pretty cool little movie. Uh, so I, I think I'm going to have to go back through some of these other ones. And if it looks interesting enough, I might just list it for 10 and see, you know, kind of see what happens with those. But those were some of the, so those were some of the better ones uh, that sold out of this lot. I also did have a lot of uh, 12, uh, just 12 random ones that I sold for 60. So those, those actually hurt the, they hurt the uh, average sale price, but still, still good stuff. And then here, um, so Short Circuit, Back to the Future 1 and 2. Uh, these are both going out uh, to a viewer, actually. And he reached out to me on Instagram. So um, kind of like some of those sales where there's no fees. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. So this one's going out to Ryan. Uh, Ryan, really do appreciate you reaching out and uh, purchasing these. And I'm glad someone else realizes that Back to the Future is the true trilogy and not Star Wars. Yes, I said it. Um, so yeah, thank you, Ryan. Hey guys, we are back at the computer for some exciting Excel, uh, and we are making some serious progress here. Very, very good progress. Um, so as you can see here, uh, well, let's see here. So uh, total sales right now are $1,182.09. Purchase price was 1100. Uh, so we are very, very close to actual profit uh, once we take uh, take into account our fees. Uh, so very, very happy with the progress there. Uh, 73 items have sold so far. Uh, average sale price of 1619. I don't know where that average sale price is going to end, <laughs> um, but if it could be between eight and 10, that would be amazing. Because uh, if, if average, you know, if average item is uh, eight bucks, right? We've got 1,100 discs. So you know, that's that's a really, really solid return. Uh, so we'll see. I, I think that might be might be a little high. Uh, but if I can get, you know, between five, five to eight for average sale price, once we get through all of the, the discs that we're going to lot up, um, I think it'll be a really, really good score. Uh, so we've been at this for 19 days. Uh, it seems like a lot longer. Uh, I have gone through every bin and I've picked out all of the individual ones. Um, I, I still have about three, three or four boxes that I still need to picture um, in order to get listed so I don't have everything listed uh, so total there should be let's see here uh, total there should be 305 individual laser discs uh, that I will have listed um, as of right now like I said we sold 73 uh, there's 230 of those that are unsold and then we have to go through the bins again and uh, either start lotting them up or like I like I mentioned earlier, there was that one disc that sold for 11.50 that I didn't see any information on beforehand. So I may need to take another another pass through these and just pull out anything that looks somewhat interesting and go ahead and list it at 10 bucks, you know, and kind of see. And you know, we'll let it sit for a while, and then you know, if it doesn't, you know, we get to a certain certain point in the year, we got a lot left, then then we start lotting those up as well. So we'll see. Um, in addition to this buy, I bought, I've got two other Laserdisc buys. <laughs> um, uh, the one I believe I talked about, uh, it was, it was a small buy. It was 58 discs, uh, plus the player, which has been, it's been fantastic. We've been watching a ton of Laserdiscs here recently. Uh, so out of that lot, uh, for the discs, I paid 70. Uh, so it was about $1.20 a disc. Uh, I have gone through all those, uh, and we've only, we've only got about, uh, what is it here? We got, only have 17 of those that I think are worth selling individually, uh, but we should still uh, still more than double uh, double the price on those, and then we still have the ones from there to lot up. 
And then most recently I bought another another buy. It was 130. Um, I probably didn't need to do the buy, but I'm really enjoying going through lots of these things, so I did it anyway. Um, and he had a lot that were from Japan, uh, and the Japanese ones do do fairly well. Uh, so I've I've gone through those as well. Uh, I think we've got let's see here. What is it? All right, looks like we've got 52 of those. Oh, yeah, right there. So yeah, 52 of those to sell individually, and then the rest to lot up. I think with the individual sales, I'm projecting to get right around seven, seven sixty-eight. So I feel good about that uh, as well. Um, laser discs, the laser discs, they're a lot of fun. Uh, they're very easy to list. They're very easy to ship uh, once you know how to do it. It's it's really not it's really not too bad at all. And I enjoy them a lot. So this type of buy is not for everyone. Um, but I really enjoy it, so I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, and I will continue looking out for these, uh, that is for sure. But uh, so yeah, it's been good progress. We're getting very close to that profit point, um, so stay tuned. I will, uh, I will continue giving you guys the rundown of this. I think that's it for today's video. I really do appreciate you guys watching, and until next time, stay curious.